and the Stotties Daisies. And look who I have today. I have Mr. Jackson. Oh, he's my Levi sculpt. And um my sweet friend Jacqueline um from Jacqueline's Baby Doll Daycare painted him for me almost a year ago. It's it's been about it almost a year. Maybe it has been about a year now. I'll have to look at his birth certificate because I don't really remember. So anyways, today's theme Thursday. And I wanted to come on and get him dressed. Theme Thursday is farm animals or um, denim. So, um, he's laying on this blanket and it's got sheep. You can have sheep on a farm. You can have bunnies on a farm. And you can also see frogs on a farm. So, but I'm going to dress him in some overalls. Just some overalls, some tennis shoes, and his little white onesies. That's all, nothing big, nothing fancy. But while I was sitting here, I wanted to talk to y'all um, about my brother. A lot of y'all know that um, in April, April the 9th, my brother passed away. And it has been a very hard year for my family. And... Um, I never realized, I never realized this, you guys, and I'm, I'm just going to say this, and then I'm going to go into my story about my brother. <laughs> and, um, I never realized how much I was going to miss him, and I never realized exactly how, you know, you say you love your siblings or your cousins or people like that. Um, but I just didn't realize how much I loved my brother, you know? So anyways, when we were little, he was still in diapers and we went to my aunt and uncle's house, my aunt Betty and uncle David's and all of us kids were outside playing and my brother always liked to get into stuff and he was about a year and a half, maybe, maybe Maybe a year, maybe two years, somewhere in there. He wasn't older than two years old, of course. So, um, the chickens had just hatched off their little chicks. And everybody kept telling him, John, John boy, leave those chickens alone. That mama chicken's gonna get you. That mama chicken's gonna get you. So, we were all, uh playing and stuff like that and uh <clears throat> he wouldn't leave them alone he kept going over there to the fence and the chicken coop kept pestering them kept pestering them kept pestering them everybody said leave them alone leave them alone well we all are out playing all of us kids are outside and he's slipping everywhere come here little man um all of us kids were out playing and having a good time okay i'm gonna cross these in the back because these are a little bit big on him. Not too much, but just a little bit. So anyways, so we're all playing, uh, probably playing hide and seek or whatever we were doing. I don't really remember, but all I remember is we hear screaming and a chicken squawking like I have never heard in my life. And all of a sudden we go to the backyard and all we see is cotton flying everywhere this mama chicken had got after my brother because he wouldn't leave her baby chicks alone you know he wouldn't leave them alone and so um she got after him she she was while he's running across the yard saying help me help me help me um that chicken was pecking at his diaper and was uh, pulling at his, you know, pulling all the cotton out of the back end of his diaper. So all you seen was cotton going everywhere, uh, a hen flapping her wings and just a squawking, chasing him around the yard and him screaming, help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> Needless to say, he didn't mess with no chickens anymore. <laughs> or he was trying to get to the baby chicks. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to get back there and mess with them and play with them and stuff. You know. But that, 
that was one of the things he did when we were little. He was always, always doing the opposite than what people told him to do, you know? Uh, he always beat, he always, what's that saying? He lived his life, or something about the beat to his own drum or something. Y'all know what it's saying, I'm trying to say. I, I hope you know, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. I'm getting all tongue tied over here. But, um, the tongue keeps going back into the shoe. I don't keep trying to put it on him. Um, so anyways, um, that chicken got after him. <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. You look so sweet, little man. Come here, let mama fix your pants. Get them pulled down a little bit, so. There we go. My little farmer. My little farmer. <laughs> and I'm going to give him his little froggy right there. So he can hold his frog. And there's his green passy to go with the frog. But yeah, I have been thinking a lot about my brother. And some of the things that he used to do. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to tell that story about my brother and that chicken. <laughs> because... And, you know, I wish we would have had digital cameras back then because I bet you anything, everybody would have got some funny pictures and a funny video. I know at the moment it probably was not funny. It was traumatizing. But now thinking about it, it is very funny. <laughs> I mean, really, it is. Because all you see is this little, this, he's running and all you see is white cotton coming out of the back end of his diaper and um, this chicken flapping her wings. To get him away from her chicks. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So his my but my brother's birthday is coming up, and I think that's what it is. His birthday is coming up. I know it's in like a month. Well, wait, no, it's not. His birthday is March second, but it's close, you know, because it's January, February, March. So yeah, it's you know a little bit, a little over a month. So I thought what I would do is. I would fix um, one of his favorite dinners and make a favorite dessert that he liked and do a little dinner on his birthday. He wasn't really big into cake, but he liked banana pudding or he liked chocolate, that Hershey chocolate pie. That was some of his favorite stuff. And when he would come to my house, he loved when I made shepherd's pie. And... He got to cooking it because he used to work um, offshore. And when he worked on the oil rig, he worked offshore, right? And he he was cooking dinner for all of them one night. And they got in there and he, they were making something with hamburger meat and, and barbecue sauce. And it wasn't cooking right. So what he did was he just ground it, you know, just browned it up. And he used um, barbecue ground beef. In his shepherd's pie. And he kept telling me all the time. You got to try it sis. You got to try it sis. You got to try it. It's really good. You got to try it. So. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to fix. For his birthday dinner. And. Uh, he, he was so funny. Because. He would eat all this hearty food. <laughs> and. Uh. He would wash it down with a Diet Coke. He thought Diet Coke was the miracle worker. <laughs> so I'm going to salute him with a nasty Diet Coke. Oh, Lord, them things are so nasty. But I'm going to salute him with a Diet Coke. And I don't know if I'm going to do a chocolate cream pie or if I'm going to do a banana pudding for him. And see if uh, my kids will come over and we can have like a like a celebratory birthday party for him because he'd be 42 this year and anywho this wasn't supposed to be sad this was supposed to be a, a happy story so um you guys have a fantabulous Thursday and I love you bunches bye